crushes. It's pretty safe to say we've all had one at some point in our lives. No matter how much you try to deny it, it's gonna happen, bro. And in my experience, I feel like there's five different stages and well, one final stage at the end. No bullshit. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Wherever you go in a typical month, day, year, whatever it is, you'll probably develop a crush there, maybe. But you could be walking around in a public, see them one time, and just be like, damn, she bad as hell, but I'm never gonna see her again. And you just gotta accept the fact that you're never gonna see them again. Because, well, one girl didn't. She filmed her airport crush and got bro doxxed. But you know what, bro? Your crush won't think you're weird at all, bro. Just go up to her and film her. Hell, even sit in a bush. That will just amplify your aura. Nobody is gonna be able to stop you. You're untouchable now but i mean in more common places where you develop a crush like school work the bar and hell even the gym some people have a gym crush i don't know i can't get behind that but places you go to regularly you have a better chance of developing a crush because you're going to end up seeing them more often if you have a crush on somebody you sit next to in class for example that crush is only going to develop stronger because they're both forced to go to school every day and you're both stuck in the hell hole together like when i was in college a semester ago i had a crush in one of my classes Never talked to her. I just straight folded, bro. So yeah, as you could tell, I didn't really go up in the stages at all much. There were many L's and folds in my time. When you develop a crush, you don't even think you have it. A lot of times you try to just suppress those feelings. <laughs> You could be so deep in that you actually start to float like you're in a fucking cartoon and you still won't believe it. You could be staring down your crush, drooling at the mouth. One of your homies catches you. He's like, bro, do you have a crush on Madison? What? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Everybody is seeing through the lie. You're not fooling anybody, bro. The fact that you think you're going to hide it from people is crazy. Like they'll be able to tell. And this could also happen when you first meet somebody too. Like at first, you might not find them attractive. But as you talk to her more, get to know her more, you start to find her more attractive. That's just what happens. And the mere mention of this person can make you feel giddy as hell. You'll feel like you ordered this exotic ass drink at Starbucks and you're just swinging your feet in the air back and forth as you're drinking it. I'm sorry, that was really specific. Yeah, like when I developed my first crush all the way back in middle school in like 2016, I know I'm an OG of the internet. I get it. I would just deny it constantly to my friends, even though like in the background, I was constantly playing love songs, thinking about her 24 seven. I was like singing shape of you by Ed Sheeran at the top of my lungs. <clears throat> Definitely don't have a crush. Having a crush is a part of life, bro. You just got to acknowledge it. That's why in stage three, you continue to build interest. <laughs> Now in stage three, this is when the person starts to become like really appealing to you and you want to find out more about them and you want to see if they're a good fit for you. Of course, what comes in during this stage is the social media stalking phase. People will find your name and just start looking at your pictures. A lot of girls do this. I can't get behind this. Absolutely not. But they basically look up every social media that you have and like try to find out as much as they can about you as possible. Some people just look over your social medias, but some people go to like your mom's Facebook and look at old ass pictures of you. Oh, he played baseball when he was little. Like, okay, bro, that's just weird. And the next time you conversate with this person, they're like, I know you played baseball. <laughs> Like, some of these people are D1. I don't know how they do this, bro. But sometimes you could accidentally like a picture from so long ago and, uh... Yeah, that's awkward as hell. So, uh, you liked my photo from four years ago. Uh, why did you do that? Uh... No reason. At that point, you're cooked. People are gonna know that you were stalking their social media. As I spoke about in my last video, I tried to play as the mysterious opium character when it came to getting girls. So I had literally nothing up on my social medias at all. I had a fucking default profile picture. I was moving in silence completely off the map. I had a bio with cryptic letters. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But in all honesty, this is the stage where you start to get nervous in this person's presence. Because obviously, you don't want to do something stupid and like trip and fall in front of your crush like that's just embarrassing as hell or hell you could do what i did and literally fart right in front of your crush and if you do do anything like super embarrassing i don't know man your chances might be up i don't know if you're bagging your crush bro because when that happened to me I don't think I talked to her after that. That was that was just rough. Now, keep in mind, I was in middle school, so obviously I was going to fumble. I wasn't going to succeed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know, you learn through the trials and tribulations. And if you're thinking like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should talk to my crush. Honestly, I think you should go for it.
Now, of course, stage four, yeah, and involves a lot of confidence, bro. You gotta sack up if you're really going to talk to your crush. Because the first impression you leave is really important. Obviously, you're not gonna be perfect. We're gonna make a mistake along the way. I mean, we're human, bro. We're not fucking bots. Um, madam, how are you? No, absolutely not. Fuck all that. A lot of people overthink the approach. And honestly, I'm still guilty of overthinking it. You don't have to have some crazy pickup line. It's just gonna come across as corny. If you treat them like a normal person instead of trying to like spit game and do all this extra shit, bro, this is the first time you're meeting them or you're like really trying to show interest. Also, another note, don't fake a personality. That's really stupid. Like if you go up to a girl acting like you're fucking Batman, like that's not gonna work. Hey, oh, <clears throat> hey, hey, the name's Cornelius. I have a pet snake and I rode my motorcycle here. But in reality, this dude doesn't even own a motorcycle. His mom dropped him off and he came from Dungeons and Dragons that evening. Like this personality that you fake is only going to take you so far. But some people are like, you know what? Fuck all that doing it in public shit. I'm just going in through the DMs. I feel like it depends if you should DM them or not. In some cases, a lot of guys also like this girl. She's probably got a lot of other people DMing her too. Whatever you choose to do, at least don't send a corny ass pickup line. You're gonna be a screenshot in the girl's group chat, but honestly, you're probably just better off talking to them in person. If you talk to them like they're a normal human being, bro, what can they say? Ew, you're weird, get away from me. And you know what? If they do say that, bro, you dodged a bullet. Why would you even wanna be with that person? anyway but if it's successful and it's going well you're talking to her at work school or you're just dming her through instagram or something you are going on to stage five but there's one more stage after stage five and this is the stage that truly determines if you bag your crush <laughs> On this stage, you're doing everything you can in your power to impress them. You're putting on a crazy fit every day when you go to school. Getting a fresh cut like every couple of weeks. Like, nah, you're doing the most. When I was in college, oh no, I 100% did this. I made sure I was looking spiffy every day I was going to see my crush. And I'm sure there's some of you looking up videos. Signs that my crush likes me. And maybe that's how you found this video. I don't know. And dude, I would be up late night thinking about my crush. 100%. I would be sitting there watching the those types of videos at like two three in the morning your crush is living in your head rent free like they're in the whole estate bro they're living lavish in your head and they barely ever leave your mind like that's just what happens and you talk about them all the time in front of people and you just gas them up to no tomorrow man but sometimes people just absolutely glaze their crush bro like to the next level and they do this big grand gesture like if you buy them a bunch of shit in the hopes of them being your girlfriend bro that's not gonna happen oh but i got us a nice limo for pro no fuck your stupid limo you don't even know if she likes you yet you never even told her and that is the final stage does she like you well i mean what else can you do bro you just gotta send it hey uh you know i know we've been talking for a bit and uh I like really, I really, really like you. Oh, as a friend? Oh, I was about to say the same thing. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, you're kind of like a brother to me. You know, you want You know what? We all take L's. It's a learning experience. And since you watched this far, you will like this video on screen where I talk about my fails with crushes. 